Hi. Hello. How's it going? Oh, God. It's so nice to have actually figured out how to use this thing to make things look all pretty. And actually have it run smoothly. And not have my poor little chains wither into nothing. But now, they're actually properly visible. And I'm buttery smooth in doing these things. Komawa, komawa. Hello, everyone. Ooh. It's been two days since we last saw each other. But, uh, Hopefully, you guys had fun with the, the karaoke, the unarchived one. I think it was a fun time. It's a little bit different than what I usually do, so doing all these uh, English songs, or even ha having to think of all these different English songs was, <laughs> was a little bit of a challenge. Please, more Taylor Swift? Maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to decide on which one, uh, on which Taylor song to go with. But <laughs> when I decided on uh, You Belong With Me, I didn't think about how high it would actually get. So <laughs> I had to practice it quite a bit. Oh my god. Ah, wait. Hello? Thank you for the Aka Chad. It says nothing. Thank you. Will you sing a love song for us? I sang plenty of love songs. What? There was love songs galore in there. Hello? <laughs> did I- did I miss something that we- did I miss something? Like, did, did we not hear the same songs? Hit all the high notes? Uh, well, I tried at least. <laughs> I gave it my best shot. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Ike, will you rap once again? <laughs> like, in case you weren't there, I did in fact, <laughs> I did in fact rap. There were love songs, there was rapping, there was screaming, it was every, it was everything under the sun. I was literally crying with motionless and white. Yeah, dude. Okay, so the thing that we used for English karaoke was uh, it's something called Carafun. So when trying to decide on songs, I was perusing through Carafun, trying to find songs that I could sing. And I did not expect to find, like, things that are up my usual alley. You know, like, the, the, the shouty boy metal stuff. But give, color me surprised when I actually did find some Motionless and White on there. Serento <laughs> Duetto. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the 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 big the big part of the show, which was the du uh, duet with Selene. <laughs> Man, that that one was a lot of fun. In case you were wondering uh, before the um, the stream, you might have seen me being up quite early and shouting at After Effects, and uh, that was the reason. That, that was the reason. It was because I was trying to get the Selene thing to work out. <laughs> Bookworm duet... <laughs> Bookworm duet changed my trajectory of my life to, together. Good. <laughs> so the way that we did that... Uh, I, I said this on the stream too, but we, we've we been... Or at least I've been wanting to do this for a while. I asked Selene once when we were playing Apex. If we could uh, do this, I just said like, hey, if I ever did an unarchived karaoke, you know the the Mordetwai thing with airplanes, would you be down to? And I, I was, I didn't even finish the sentence before Selene just started laughing and said, hell yes. So yeah, that was decided quite a while ago. Lydia, thank you for the ten gifted. And uh, I, t I told her that like, hey, I'm doing an unarchived karaoke on, uh, on Sunday. So... Uh, like, if you still want to do the airplanes thing. And she was down. I, I wrote up the script. Yeah, I sent, uh, sent it over with, the, like, the instrumental and everything. But Selene obviously is very, very busy. So she wasn't able to get it done until, like, pretty pretty last minute. She, got, she recorded part of her lines right before her Pizza Tower stream. And then the other parts 
uh, and uh, as well as her um, videos that I had to green screen after her stream. So then the challenge after that was putting everything together. And the way that I, uh, the way that I wanted to do it is I wanted to fade in the masterpiece that was drawn by Bari while we were singing. And I couldn't not do it because I have to sing at the same time. Because even though Selene was recorded, I was singing live. And while singing, I didn't want to have to fiddle with OBS. So in Selene's singing video, I wanted to like sort of bake in the fading in of the, the image. So in order to do that, I needed to create a video of Selene singing that had transparency. And that was a lot harder than you might have anticipated because number one, I needed to uh, take away her green screen. And normally in OBS, that isn't terribly difficult. But in After Effects, you have to use certain plugins to do that. And uh, the main plugin that people usually uh, use in After Effects is something called Key Light. The only problem is that Key Light, much like After Effects, Hello? Did my did my mic die? Like I said, key light, much like After Effects, is very very unreliable. So my After Effects was crashing quite a lot, and I mean a lot a lot. Why is my BGM not looping? Oh, there it is. Huh? Oh well. Your mic is crunchy? What? Hold on. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It seems okay. Are you sure? Is everything Gucci now? Man, what's been going on as of late? But now, dude, what is going on? I swear to God, I've like, I, I don't know what's happening. It, has my GoXLR gotten too many like beatings or something? Like, has it has it fallen to the floor too many times? It's like I gently just like touched it, and then my microphone just vanished. Is it fine now? Is it all right? Hello?
Everything... Okay, no more crunch, okay. Thank goodness. What I was saying is that key light, much like After Effects, is very, very unreliable. So it, uh, it crashes quite a bit. But it was crashing, like, a lot more than I expected. I could not render more than, like, 30 seconds of the video before it would, like, completely shut down. So then I was trying to figure out ways around it. I googled and could not find the issue or anything. So... I just decided that maybe key light is the problem. So I cut key light completely out of the picture and just did it manually with color keying. Which is, you know, a lot less refined and leads to not as great results. But I tried that. And it's st then I was getting the exact same crash issue that I had with key light with the other color key. So I was like, what is the problem then? So then I started fiddling around with After Effects internal settings. And if you know something about After Effects, you can bring up a secret menu if you open the preferences while holding shift. So then I was like changing some settings in there. And I decided to, you know what, if it's going to crash after like 30, uh, rendering 30 seconds on the video, I started rendering out the video with Selene in parts. In 20 second increments, I rendered out completely uncompressed lossless video that was like a gigabyte each. And just stitching that together. Just like time and time again. And by the end of that, I had several different lossless files, and then I just shoved everything together and rendered it out. And this time, it worked fine because all of it had already been baked into a video. So I got the I got my transparency for uh, my side of the video. And I got Selene's uh, side with all of her effects, with her transitioning between her outfits. Because she wanted to do uh, the singing and the rapping with different uh, different outfits. And I just said, yep, yeah, I'll edit that, that together. Don't worry about it. And I got the fading in of the video as well. So that worked perfectly as well. So all I needed to worry about was the actually uh, the actual singing. Like, you're so patient. Uh, no, it was less about patience and more about I need to have this done or we have to cut it from the set list. And I had already cut one song from the set list because I f didn't feel like I could do it. So I didn't want to cut another one. What did you cut? Uh, I was going to sing uh, Can You Feel My Heart by Bring Me The Horizon, you know, the Giga Chad theme. But that song, it was just too high. I couldn't, uh, I tried practicing earlier uh, to um, do the singing. But for the verse, like at the very end of the verse, uh, for the Can You Feel My Heart, that part, I could not hit it. I tried several times and my voice just was not letting me hit it that uh, that day. Next time maybe. It all depends on the the singing day. But yeah, that that was uh, that was the adventure that I went on with get trying to get the airplanes video together. <laughs> Just a tiny bit for now. No, it's too high. I, I would have to like shout at the top of my lungs, and I have I haven't warmed uh, warmed up. So from pre trying to put this video with Selene together, preparing everything else for the karaoke, making sure that the OBS transitions worked okay, getting all the the Carafun songs uh, lined up with each other, and as well as uh, doing the the pre recorded backing things. I think that I worked for like 
15 hours from the point of waking up and or something to the point or to the time when I needed to do the stream and then after the stream I stayed up until like 6 6 p.m. after the stream was done 6 or 7 p.m. no 6 p.m. and then at 6 p.m. I went to bed and I passed out so hard that the after going to bed at 6 p.m. I woke up at 7 a.m. the next day so it was like 13 hours of sleep <laughs> Big rest, yes, a very big rest. Okay, now that I'm done with that story, I can catch up on some of the super chat that came in. Viola, thank you very much for the Aka Spa, and Kawane, thank you for the Aka Spa too. Related payment for your unarchived karaoke. Also, that was more like an age check karaoke with some, with some of the songs reminding me of my age. Thank you, and Selene, for an amazing karaoke. Thank you. Risa, thank you very much. Peachy, thank you very much. Wing Wing, thank you very much. Mama Ling, thank you very much. Hapapa san, thank you very much. YF, thank you very much. Uh, Selic, thank you very much. Sabrina, she's Shes, thank you very much. And Dana, thank you very much for the Akaspa. Thank you for the amazing karaoke. Here's my admission ticket. No need for the admission tickets. <laughs> it's it's entirely free. Anybody was allowed to show up. Can we have have a rebroadcast? Uh, well, uh, I will have to check. I will have to check with uh, staff because the thing is with. Uh, uh, song perms sometimes uh, they change, so I I'll ask if there's a possibility for a rebroadcast. So th there are times when we do a rebroadcast and we have to cut certain songs, unfortunately. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll we'll see. We'll see. An archive still need perms? Yeah, we, we need to check that everything is all Gucci. It's just a part of the process. That way we don't step on any toes and everybody is happy. I can't get the <laughs> I wanted that way out of my head. <laughs> Your talent was too great. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I sang that just because of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I was very happy when I looked in chat and uh, saw a bunch of people saying, No number five. <laughs> mm. Wait, was what was it? Hold on, let me think. Let me, let me look at my set list real quick. Ah, oh, dang. It was the fourth one. Wouldn't it have been funny if I sang that as number five? Chills. Literal chills. <laughs> it was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. V, thank you very much. Uh, Simotsky, thank you very much. Uh, Crystal, thank you very much. This is my first super, but thank you for the karaoke stream. I love the metal songs as a metal fan myself. Love from Western Australia. I can't wait for more. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, w I wanted to get some metal in there. So when I saw that they had uh, Kill Switch Engage, I was like, okay, I guess we're doing Boomer Metalcore. Brooklyn Nine-Nine has really good comedy. It, it really does. I don't think that there's a single time where I've watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine and not cracked up at something that they've said. Uh, Lindy-san, thank you very much. Karaoke uh, Haisin, tasukare deshita. Haka spa desu. Haka spa datte. Seren-chan to no kolabo saiko datta shi. Rappu mecha suki datta. Heiya no light o... Hmm? Keshite pen light o... Furinagara 
、見てました。ああ、嬉しい。えー、かっこよかった。最高に楽しかったです。ありがとう。Thank you very much. はっかすか。<笑>久しぶりのハカスパ。<笑> yeah, it's, it's really funny when people call them ハカスパ。It's really funny. Ever since I first heard that pun, I can't, I can't get it out of my head. Your insecure made me gut laugh on a night where I really needed it. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. Good old belly laugh. I mean, when I picked out、uh, what makes you beautiful for the set list, One of the first things I like, I knew that I was gonna do that, your insecure thing, because it's so funny. It's also such a mood. <laughs> what makes you beautiful, but you're insecure? I'm like, what? Why, yes, I am insecure. And I remember when One Direction sort of like ruled the world. Like it was everything that people around me talked about.、Um, I know that it dominated Wattpad、uh, for the longest time, but I wasn't never much of a Wattpad user. I'm a boomer, so I used fanfiction.net. But yeah, they were, they were quite big over here. There were a lot of Swedish directioners. Did you read any 1D fanfics? No, I was never、uh, much of a fan. Some of their songs were catchy, but that's about where I left it at. AO3 better? Yeah, AO3 is like, like objectively the best、uh, site for that kind of stuff right now. Like, fanfiction.net is probably, like, I never hear anybody talking about it much anymore. I'm sure that there are people who are sort of. Stuck in the past, or purists, or anything along those lines that just sort of tough it out and stick around there. But Wattpad, I barely hear anything about anymore. And Live Journal is like completely off the map. What fanfic did you read? I read everything. There, there was a lot of stuff that I read. Whatever show. Or game I, I was watching, or game I was playing at the time, I would always just be like, huh, let's, let's see what, what the fandom is like. Let's see what kind of stuff that they write. Persona fanfics? Ironically enough, I never read any sort of Persona fanfics. Favorite fanfic? Uh, the one that I recall, whenever I think of fanfics, like off the top of my head, I remember one. It was a crossover fanfic between Higurashi and s u z u m i a Haruhi no Yutsu. It was called The Christ of、uh, Haruhi s u z u m i a It was basically the SOS gang from Haruhi going to Hinamizawa and a lot of stuff happening there. And the story structure was very. It was very faithful to how things usually go with.、Uh, Various Higurashi arcs. So it was very it was very fun to to read and follow along with. Were you ever traumatized by any of them? No, not at all. I'm trying to think of、uh, things that have actually traumatized me. And I can't really think of anything. The thing, the thing with me is. Like violence and、uh, such things, like violence in like fiction or like,、uh, like gore or anything like that, doesn't really phase me. So, a lot of things I'm just sort of shrug off. That's what, what, why, whenever I go into a movie that is like supposedly like violent or anything, I never have to be careful because there's never anything that will set me off.
So there's probably never going to be a time when I watch a movie, at least now, that is going to be, like, upsetting to anything. The only, the only things that have, like, traumatized me, or like, I, I wouldn't even call it traumatizing, but things that, like, shook me up was, like, when I watched scary things as a kid. And a lot of them weren't even supposed to be scary. Like, uh, young Aiki, and I'm not- I've told this story before, but young Aiki actually got, uh, scared by a Wallace and Gromit movie. Curse of the Were-Rabbit. I actually got nightmares from that. Why is- why are a lot of people saying valid? <laughs> it's not valid. There's nothing really scary about that movie, but for some reason, it, uh, it freaked me out. It wasn't even that. When I was watching it, I wasn't freaked out by it. Like, I just thought it was a regular movie like any other thing. But it was only when I was going to bed that I realized that, oh my god, I'm having nightmares. It's very off-putting, dude. Really? Is it? But I thought people loved Wallace and Gromit. I love Wallace and Gromit. Like, I love the one where they go to the moon and try try the cheese on the moon. Watching that just makes me want to eat cheese. What would you do when you get nightmares? I would turn on every single light in my room and turn on an audiobook. That way it's not quiet and it's not dark and eventually I'll fall asleep. I remember seeing a really old clip. Um, what? I think it was uh, two parents that pulled a very mean prank on their two boys uh, because they apparently stayed up. Uh, late, later than what were they when they were supposed to, and watched uh, the Texas uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So when the parents came home and fa found them, they were sleeping in the same bed, and all the lights were turned on. So the dad, like the great parent he is, goes and gets a creepy mask, grabs an actual chainsaw, and revs it like like starts it to like wake the boys up. And they just fly away and, like, roll out of bed in, in, like, panic. Obviously, they realize right away what's going on. But you can hear one of them standing up and just asking, What's wrong with you? And Which I think is a very valid question. Like, like why do that to your kids? Did he at least take the chain off? I don't know. It was recorded on, a, like, an old video camera, so I couldn't see. Sounds like a good parent. It also sounds like a very dad thing to do. <laughs> you know when you think about something and you're just like, yeah, that's a very dad thing to do. That's one of those things. Ray, thank you for the super chat. This is why I don't use Adobe for video editing anymore. Guess you've invested too much in the, uh, in the plugins to change. The thing is, I don't use Adobe for video editing. I use Sony Vegas for video editing. But for compositing and uh, motion graphics and stuff, I use After Effects because it's it's the best thing out there. And I don't really feel like learning something else, like hit film. I don't think that working in Sony Vegas works terribly well, especially when you need to work with an alpha channel. And I just think that the keying tools in After Effects are better than the keying tools in Sony Vegas. What kind of dad thing will you do if you become one? I have no plans of becoming a dad, so I couldn't tell you. What about Da Vinci Resolve? Uh, I've tried Da Vinci, da Vinci Resolve and uh, it's good. I just can't wrap my head around it. And when I need something done fast, I'm gonna reach for the thing that I know how to use.
Ain't that a mood? Yeah, th that's the problem. When you're used to something, it's very hard to like break out of that and sort of give and give yourself a reason to change. Especially if you're pressed for time. Like if I'm pressed for time, like I was this time, I'm I'm not gonna turn to something that's gonna be unreliable. I mean, After Effects is unreliable, but I I know that it's going to be unreliable, and I can work around that unre unreliability. <laughs> I don't know if- does that make sense? Reliably unreliable. Yeah, if there's one thing you can count on After Effects being reliable about, it's being unreliable. Go with the evil you know. Yes, more or less. That's pretty much how it works. Abby, thank you very much. I want to hear you sing Can You Feel My Heart, but there's a lot of songs of by uh, Bring Me The Horizon that you can sing. Uh, yeah, bring, uh, Can You Feel My Heart is one of the harder ones because it's so high. There's a lot of things. There's a lot, like a lot of songs that they uh, Bring Me The Horizon has that are very high, but the reason that they are so high is because Ollie sings them with like distortion in his voice, which allows him to push his chest voice even higher. Uh, than I can, and I can't really do that because I, I don't know how to sing with distortion, or at least controlled. Shade Shift, thank you very much. Thanks for the fun karaoke, you're insane for singing Master Exploder, it was amazing. Unironically, Master Exploder was one of the easier ones. Because a lot of it is just meh, like, mixed voice and uh, like, uh, falsetto. The hardest part of Master Expl uh, Exploder is uh, the first one where you sort of have to go up because you have to go from chest voice to mix voice uh, like in transition relatively smoothly, which is very hard to do, but Jack Black does it very well. I uh, I had to like stop and reset my um, like my muscle memory before going back into it a few times. Uh, and then... There's also the chest voice belted pick of destiny towards the end because E is a very narrow na vowel and that's hard to sing high. But and the actual like ah! is not very hard at all. That's super super easy. I love this sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you got to have the sorry in there. Hachiwashi Hachisan, thank you very much for the Akaspa. Karaoke saiko deshita, arigato. Eto, how do you read this? Shichigatsu wa takusan Aiku-kun no uta ga kikite shiawase deshita. Thank you, thank you very much. Is it Shichigatsu? I feel like it's Shichigatsu. It is? Okay, good. <laughs> Rova, thank you very much. Thanks for the amazing karaoke. You sang so well. Thank you. And Miyaki, thank you very much. Did you mention about free? Just kidding. <laughs> thank you for the karaoke stream. It was a wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, Yao, thank you very much. Shiro, thank you very much. Makia, thank you very much. Mito, thank you very much. Yukiko, thank you very much. Shiro, thank you very much. How do I read this? Metamomon, thank you very much. Linko, thank you very much. Aya Aomi, thank you very much. Masaya Astrid, thank you very much. I'd like to tell you that I received a good TOEFL score. It was difficult indeed, but fortunately, I ach finally achieved my goal of practicing more, and your voice helped me to maintain a better mental state. Thank you, and I'm so glad to hear that. Let's go! I, I know that, that it's like... Uh, I know what the TOEFL is, but I just call it the TOEFL. <laughs> I think that's a fun way of calling it, the TOEFL. Not, not tofu, the TOEFL. Yeah, the TOEFL. Sounds like something you can eat. I mean, I mean with uh, tofu, uh, tofu, 
guess you can eat. 日本人の私は7月で間違えるのに。Really? Okay, so I'm not the only one that、uh, does that. Like,、uh, for, <laughs> I, make, I make that mistake like so often. Like, I know that it's like shichigatsu, but sometimes I, like, I accidentally say nanagatsu. Or even worse, the, the one that happens to me all,、uh, all the time is when, when I want to say this year,、uh, which is kotoshi. I always read it at, like, I, I see it in front of me. I see the kanji. I, I know that it's like kotoshi. But my brain is just like, I look at it, I see the kotoshi, and my brain just goes, Imanen. <laughs> it's, so, it's so dumb. <laughs> like, I know that's not it, but my brain just does that <laughs> for some reason. Iman and Tensai. It's not Tensai. It's the opposite of Tensai. <laughs> What does it mean? It just means this year. Autocor autocorrect gone totally wrong. I mean, it's not really that it's gone wrong, but it's like a mistake that Japanese learners make a lot. Kotoshi te yomukata ga machigateru te chisai koro wa zutto eh, eh, okotte ta. I mean, it's technically not wrong. Yeah, well, it, it's one of those things where just like, is that correct? Well, yes, but actually, no. <laughs> I read it as konnen a few times. I know that a lot of people are also read it as kyonen, but kyonen means last year. When my brain dies, I read it as Konen. <laughs> yeah, I, everybody messes up with reading it one way or another. Toki Kios, thank you very much for the Akaspa. Thank you for the amazing karaoke. And yes, motionless and wide. So glad to hear their song from you. This is my ticket money. Thank you. No need for the ticket money, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Juliana, thank you very much.、Uh, I've come bearing good news. I got into a program and wanted.、Uh, I, that I wanted, and you inspired me to pursue my passion. Well, it's a tradition at this point, so here's my concert payment. <laughs> thank you, and congratulations! Denshi, thank you very much. What's your favorite metalcore bands? I remember you mentioning Periphery before. My boy、um, friend and I, who are metalheads, are huge fans of your music. Thank you very much. Yes, I do like Periphery quite a bit. My favorite band used to be Crown the Empire, but I haven't really been into them since、uh, The Resistance. So, from Retrograde, uh, um, Onwards, I haven't really been paying much attention to them. So, the ones that I listen to right now is like main, like the ones I've been、uh, keeping up with the most is Motionless and White. I think scoring the end of the world was really, really good. There was a lot of really fine songs on that. A couple of favorites from my were obviously the title track, Scoring the End of the World, Slaughterhouse,、um, And Werewolf. Were Werewolf was really, really good. See that there's a lot of people that say, like, I'm Japanese, but I also str struggle with the <laughs> Japanese and kanji. Let's all shake hands. Everybody shake hands and unite in struggling with languages. Because that's the thing.、Uh, even with English, native English speakers struggle with English. 
all the time. I'm not a native speaker, but the native speakers that I have spoken to sometimes are just like, man, I don't even understand what's going on here. <laughs> Languages are hard. <laughs> that that's that's the moral of the story here. Any Asian metal bands that you like? Uh, Cold Rain, Cross Faith, uh, Crystal Lake, but it's not really the same at anymore after Dio uh, left. Uh, Devaloof. Mm, Nocturnal Bloodlust. Those are a few, uh, a few of the ones that come to mind. You speak really good English as your second language? Thanks, fam. I try. <laughs> I still mess up sometimes when, whenever I get my wires crossed in my head a little bit, my grammar might turn out weird, or my, I might say a word where I think it, I know what it means, but it actually means something different. But in my defense, native speakers do that too. What kind of question is this? What would you do if you were trapped in a church bell's room? I would not have a good time. I would not have a good time. <laughs> Heard of Sleep Token? Pretty based metalcore band? Really? Uh, sleep co I would not classify Sleep Token as metalcore. I mean, I know that they have been trying to go a little bit heavier uh, recently, but I thought they were more prog than anything. I thought they were prog metal. Coconut, thank you very much for the five gifted. Thought I'd play Pizza Tower? I do want to play Pizza Tower. I do want to give that a try and try. It looks really, really fun. How about Sim? Yes, Silence and Silence is mine. They're great. They've been putting out some new stuff recently, and it's really, really good. So if you need something new to listen to, that's what I recommend. As a banger OST, ooh, okay. I do like me some banger OSTs, so more to look forward to with Pizza Tower. Honey, thank you very much. Hi, Aiki. Karaoke hi, see. Onskare sama deshita. Thank you. Eh, ego no uta. Zenzen. Eh, kikan nai kara. Dono kyoku mo suki ni narimashita. Oh, oreshi. Toku ni Shape of You no ongaku ga kawaii kute suki ni narimashita. Nice. Let's go. Let's see. Demo, eh, Nihongo ni. Eh, to. Yakusareta kashi. Thank you very much. Yeah, Shape of You is... Uh, you don't really think about it when you hear it on the radio, but it is pretty sussy. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you for the virtual fest and karaoke. It's a good memory of July. Do you remember the in the fest, the blue t-shirt Ike? It's me. Thank you for noticing us. We are very happy. And <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I, I do remember quite quite a few uh, people in the audience back then. I, I I'm still I'm still nagging staff. I'm just like, please, please, can we get get the the video and as a memory? I want to look back on it. I think the chat might have died. It's been do <sighs> Will there come a time in YouTube history where the chat works as intended? Because when we started, we had the memory leak where it just kept crashing for us and the spam bots. Then when they, when they tried updating and changing the colors, it would just crash the entire tab. 
And now it just freezes every now and again. Okay, there we go. Welcome back. One day, the YouTube chat will be free from issues, but today is not that day. Oh my god, my stomach is so full. Then again, that's what I get for eating that kind of breakfast. I was eating uh, some spicy noodles for breakfast while watching Vanta play The Witness. I'm proud of him. He, he, he's, uh, he's doing well. He's doing well, but he's also experiencing the full witness effect. <laughs> Where you're just staring at something that might as well have been made by aliens and you just don't understand it. Spicy noodles for breakfast? I wanted them, man. I like the flavor. What have you done, Ike? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, he fought valiantly. Also, I, I wasn't able to catch uh, the end, but um, was he ever able to find, you know, the circles? Did, did, I, I tried nudging him at one point, but I don't think he saw it. I, I think he missed it. He didn't see the environmental puzzles? Dang. I hope he tries again. If he tries again, I hope he finds them. I hope he finds them so, so bad. Because I can only imagine, like, how he's gonna be like, So you're telling me I need to keep my eyes open away from the panels? <laughs> how high is your tolerance for spies? Uh, it's pretty normal. It used to be very low, but now I think I'm at, I'm at like, normal level. Can we hear you speak in a deep voice? Uh, sure, I guess. Hold on, let me move my mic. Uh, I mean, there's two different ways of speaking in a deep voice. You either speak in vocal fry or you speak like... You drop your larynx. And you just keep your voice connected. Because if you keep your voice connected when dropping your larynx... <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> it sounds a lot more like this. It's not really that low, if you ask me. It's not... One of those morning voice types of days. It's just a little bit lower like that. But if you do go into vocal fry, then it goes a lot deeper and you kind of sound, I know, a little bit like a bunch of TikTok people trying to imitate Corpse Husband. When you hear people sounding like this and just claim, oh yeah, this is my voice. No, this is vocal fry. This is not what anybody actually sounds like. And if you speak like this constantly, you're actually going to hurt yourself a lot. Like Hex 2? No, Hex does not speak in vocal fry the same way that I just did. So the way that Hex speaks, it, that is just uh, what his um, um, properly connected voice sounds like. So that is different. Does vocal fry hurt your voice? No, but if you speak in it for an extended period of, period of time, it is going to hurt you. It's because your voice is not really meant to do that. Like, it's not... Uh, it's not built to do that constantly. It's just the same as if... You know when you have, uh, like, a sore throat, it's very tempting to, like, whisper in order to, like, make t talking easier or, like, you hurt yourself less. But it, in actuality, whispering is the worst thing that you can do when you have a sore throat because your no, voice is like not really meant to constantly be, constantly be whispering. Whisper is like straight air. air. Yeah, but you, if you keep doing this and constantly just keeps blowing pure air past your vocal cords, then they're not flapping together. Because, like, when the way that we speak, our vocal cords are, like, closing and opening, like, back and forth really fast. Like, if you, if you do this, like, with your lips, like, like that, 
when they're vibrating like that. That's basically what your vocal cords are doing very, very fast. And every time, like, uh, they open and close, that's what they're meant to do. If you're just blowing air past them, you're all, not only, uh, like, drying them out, dehydrating them, they're not meant to do that. So, like, if I slowly start to, to like, like, drop my pitch, you can he you can start here uh, to hear my vocal cords coming together. That's what vocal fry is. Like, if I do... Uh... You hear that? Everything, like, and that smattering is, like, the vocal cords, like, coming apart and coming together. And when they start doing it really, really fast, that's when we get start getting a note. Like... Uh, hello! Now... When you do it fast enough, that's when your voice becomes real. <laughs> Anything that, uh, like, comes together and vibrates fast enough, creates a note. <laughs> it's not meant to be horror-like. Everybody works like that. That's how all of our voices work. Should you do a high note right now? No, because I have not been awake for long enough. Or I have not warmed up, so hitting a high note would be a very bad idea. So vibratos are double vibrating? No, vibratos is more... That's wavering the pitch back and forth. Like... Mm, that's just like going faster and slower the lower the lower pitch you are at the slower your vocal cords are uh, vibrating together teon taskaru dai thank you <laughs> it's it's not really that low though i can't really go super super low because that that's that's genetics for you Ten uh, tenors will be tenors vocal warm-up with Quildren. I don't really have a reason to warm up today. Personally, I think warm-up is kind of a pain. So I only do it, like, when I have to. So, like, if I'm gonna be singing or gonna be recording, I don't warm up just for the heck of it. Yeah, there are some people that like uh, high voices, and some people that don't. It's very much a taste thing. Some people prefer, like, uh, like warm, silky, smooth voices that are more in the baritone and bass range, like that's what they like. Whereas other people, they like more um, voices with more treble and, uh, you know, like the high tenor belting. So there's some people that might listen to something like, uh, what's a good example? Hmm. I don't know, people that like uh, Gakto. He has a very, like, uh, round, warm voice, like that. Whereas other people prefer something like uh, Muff Muff san who is uh, a tenor to the highest degree. That is a very, like, bright voice, full of treble, capable of reaching very high notes. It's a matter of taste. You either like one or you don't. But uh, if you don't like one, then hey, that's entirely fine. That's the thing about uh, being a singer. Like, you're dealt... You're dealt a hand, and you can do a lot with that hand, but there's just some things that you're going to be able to have an easier time doing, so that's why a lot of people lean into that a little bit more. As much as I would want to, I'm probably never going to be able to de be a, I don't know, bass singer in a barbershop qu quartet. That's just, like, not in my genetics, unfortunately. So I, I just do what what feels more natural to me and that is just a little singing on the high side that that's what i find more comfortable and comes more naturally to me
What if you sing only classical? I mean, that just means that you're classically trained. Like, vo uh, voice types have been around f since, like, the they were invented, which is, like, ages and ages ago. Like, choirs have been around for, like, hundreds, if not thousands of years. So everybody has been, like, assigned parts where they... Depending on what they are able to sing. So you either you're a classically trained bass, or classically trained baritone, or classically trained tenor, classically trained soprano, alto, all that stuff. Life really is RNG, huh? Like it is with many things. It's just genetics. You're dealt a hand, and you gotta make the most of that. What are you trained for? I have not had any training. I'm... I've just been doing things in my bedroom for most of the time. I watched things online. I watched tutorials on YouTube, and I bought, like, one or two courses. That's impressive. Not particularly. There's uh, people that have, like, self-studied a lot more than me and gotten way, way better. Because uh, even though I used to be, like, really, really into singing, like, I, because that's, like, what I went hard at, when I started, like, uh, making my own music, I started uh, enjoying the production side of things more, like the mixing, uh, the composing and all that stuff, and then I stopped singing a little bit. And not really stopped singing, but I didn't uh, sing as much. So I only really sang whenever I had to. I never really practiced, and as a result, I'm uh, I'm kind of rough around the edges. I'm rough around the edges in a lot of ways, but I'm trying to get back there. I'm trying to practice more and get back into it, and giving myself more excuses to sing. You intend to get proper vocal training, or are you not interested? The problem is that it's kind of difficult to find a vocal teacher that wants to do exactly what you want if you have a very specific style of uh, singing that you want to excel in. Or, like, uh, if I do find somebody, I just don't have the time. Like, I'm so busy these days, I don't have a lot of time to do things. And whenever I'm, I'm done with, like, uh, either if I'm uh, doing a lot of work that day or if I'm doing a stream, if after the, after the stream, I'm, like, worn out, I want to rest. Or if I've been talking for like, maybe if we've been doing a Persona stream for like six to eight hours. After that, and I, if I gotta hop off that and immediately go to a vocal lesson, no thanks. I don't think that will turn out very well. Maybe one day in the future when I have a lot more time on my hands. Then I would absolutely love to, to get taught by a professional. Doesn't your throat get sore if you talk too much? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's actually getting a little bit sore right now, which is why I have water right here. I just don't understand how there's some people that can talk for eight hours. And just be fine. I've been talking for an hour right now, and my, vo my voice is feeling a little bit worn out. Vocal cords are built different. Yeah, it really, really do be. <laughs> Either that or I just have a very improper way of speaking. Maybe I don't speak with uh, my diaphragm as much as I should. Let's see, there's a few super chats I haven't been able to catch up on. Uh, let's see. Aiko, thank you for the 200 buckaroonies. Thank you. That's such a big Akaspa. Thank you. Aiko Rapland, you light up my world like nobody else. <laughs> thank you for the wonderful performance, you absolute legend. Please take my concert ticket for the one, the only, the man of singing. <laughs> I woke up just to drop this. I'm going back to sleep. Good night. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good sleep. Anthe, thank you very much. Thank you for the karaoke. The moment I heard what makes you beautiful, I immediately thought of the your insecure meme and started singing it. It was funny when I heard you sing the meme too. <laughs> Same brain. Maura, thank you very much. I ate bull duck for breakfast too. Based. 
。もやず、Thank you very much.Wendy, thank you very much. またそうやってアイク君は私をん喜ばせる。Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see. k o n n u s a n thank you very much. Abby, thank you very much. I've seen Motionless in White in Spain like one month ago and they were awesome. And hearing you sing one of their songs, totally blessed. You did it perfect. Thank you. Ayu, thank you for the Akaspa. Thank you for the amazing kar- karaoke. Sugoku tanoshikata desu. Thank you. P, thank you very much. Hello, Aiki. I was on a family vacation, so I could only catch a glimpse of the stream. Anyway, hope you have a pleasant time. Good job in karaoke. Thank you.、Uh, Nene san, thank you very much.、Uh, a year ago on my birthday, I joined the penmanship. And today, I finally became.、Um, I got the p- purple nib. Back then, I knew absolutely no English, but now I can watch movies without subtitles. All thanks to、uh, you. Thanks,、uh, Aiki. And thank you for the karaoke. It's amazing. Thank you. Also, one year and you're already able to watch movies without subtitles? That's. That's really impressive. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful time. A whole year and you're a- already able to like, drop the subtitles. That's good stuff. Miss、uh, V Zara, thank you very much. Or Zara.、Uh, Lucid Mello, l thank you very much. I'm a Korean listener. Always support you. Thank you.、Uh, h- how do you say it? Kamsamida? <laughs>、uh, a name I can't read because it's in Hangul. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired because the air conditioner is broken, but I'm happy because of you. Thank you very much. Hopefully, you don't overheat. And Kon, thank you very much. Do you listen to 1OK Rock? If so, favorite song? I do listen to a lot of old 1OK Rock. Favorite song?、Um, I will say Ending Story. Ending Story is my favorite 1OK Rock song.、Uh, K1KJP san, thank you very much. Aiki no utagoe wa itsumo. 心に響く素敵な歌枠ありがとう。Thank you. And Hitsuki, thank you for the Aka chat. What the heck? He says nothing. When I joined the Quiller, my English was still very broken, but watching you helped me improve my grammar. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. There's a lot of.、Um, Whatchamacallit? A lot of、uh, moments when I was learning English too, when I just realized that, oh my god, why can, I, why can I understand things? Why can I form sentences all of a sudden? I haven't really practiced or anything. But it's because I just kept feeding myself English no matter where I went. I played games in English. I watched YouTube in English. I watched movie, movies in English. When I watched anime, I watched a lot of it in English dub. I'm willing to bet that a lot of my English actually are th-、uh, thanks to, and I'm not kidding, Bleach and Naruto. I, watch, I watched Bleach, Naruto, and Dragon Ball in English. And I'm willing to bet that actually helped me a lot. Is there even anime in Swedish dub?、Um, there are for like, like kids' anime that gets brought over to Sweden, usually gets a Swedish dub. Like Pokemon is in Swedish.、Uh, Beyblade was in Swedish. Those kinds of so-、uh, songs, those kinds of shows.、Um, I know Ghibli movies tend to get dubbed. There's、uh, Swedish dubs for Ghibli movies. I haven't seen any, any of them. I've seen one clip from Howl's Moving Castle in Swedish and it was not good. Uh, I have seen, like, some of the Dragon Ball movies got dubbed in Swedish, but they are some of the worst Swedish dubs I've ever heard. It's like very, very bad. It's embarrassing.
I hate. I hate everything. Nandomo itte takara. Ah! Uh, I hate everything. Can, can we... May, maybe we should stop playing P5. Maybe we can stop playing P5 from here on out. How does that sound? Atarashi kotoba oboeta. Oh my god, please don't crash on me. Thank you. I'm your fan from Korea. I'm always watching your show. Sorry for the awkwardness with the translator. The translator is fine. If anything, I just feel bad that I can't... I Because I can't read your name. It's because I don't know how to read Hangul. But thank you very much for the super chat. Tips on learning Japanese. Uh, find a way that is fun for you. If you're not having fun, you're not going to remember much. If you like studying with textbooks and that works for you, go for that. If you prefer using flashcards, like with SRS, then uh, do that. If you prefer doing, like, immersion by watching shows and whatnot, then do that. If you learn better in a classroom setting, then do that. Me personally, <laughs> I was a social media goblin. So, uh, I learned a lot of my Japanese from Twitter. There's also apps. Yeah, there's also apps. It was actually, and like I learned, um, like some Japanese phrases here, here and there from uh, Twitter. And whenever I use them, <laughs> they're just like, "Why do you know that? <laughs> Why do you know that phrase?" I was talking to Shinkun the other day uh, because she was streaming Eve, so we, t uh, I chatted a little bit with her uh, on Discord after the stream, and I talked about how how tricky it is to like get the ending where you save Gary. And I said something along the lines of, like, uh, uh, like, oh, in, or in order to get it, you need to talk a lot to... Uh, or if you don't talk a lot to Gary, uh, you can't get the good ending, I think. And then, but because I wasn't ent entirely sure, I said something along the uh, lines of, Gary to takusan hanashin nai nara good end o mukaeru koto wa dekinai kamoshirenai. Ma shiran kido. And then <laughs> Shinkun was just like, how do you know about Shirankido? <laughs> so then she she was very shocked. <laughs> she, she was just like, why why do you use that? Why do why do you use that? <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very bendy. It's very bendy. It's like whenever you're speaking on something that you're not entirely confident about, in order to like, like throw off all potential repercussions, but in anybody uh, like pointing out like, hey, you have no idea what you're talking about. Just end with like this is just like, or something, I don't know. <laughs> It's it's so useful. It's super super useful. That way nobody can like uh, roll up to you and be like, "Hey, this thing that you said was wrong." It was just like, "Haha, I never said I was an expert because I said shirankido." <laughs> Hello? Uh rainbow? rainbow? Putting Lee with <laughs> with the rainbow. Thank you so much. What the heck? -y? Thank you. That came out of nowhere. Thank you so, so much. And it's a rainbow chad too. It says nothing. It didn't even say anything. I didn't expect to see a rainbow today. Thank you. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy.
Niji Spa. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, cardio cardio kaleidoscope thank you very much that was a, a little bit tricky for me to read next time you go fishing in persona i'll be singing i, I could really use a fish right now <laughs> i could really use a fish right now <laughs> that's so good that's so good i'm gonna i'm gonna try to remember that saki yamane thank you for the akaspa for the karaoke i really like your singing also i've learned Eng uh, learned those english songs from you they were all good songs thank you thank you so much they were very, very normy though. I was told, uh, like, I was perusing through my live tag to see what people had said during and after the stream. And a lot of people said that even though I don't listen to a lot of English music, these songs were so normy that even I knew them. <laughs> I want to do a cover of Blue Light. Can I do it? Like, do I need to do something special? Permission? No, just go for it. Go nuts! My name, uh, the way you pronounce my name is... Uh, Dokmandu? I hope I'm reading that cor correctly. Thank you. Hangul was made so easy uh, uh, to learn to read. Some people even learn it in two hours. Coming for someone who was in Korean class for three years. So I've heard. It's just that I'm a very bad student. So I don't know how well I would do. Beruga-san, thank you very much. Murio Spacha des. Murio Supachan. Wa sonsai. Sonsai shinai desho. So you koto nai des. You still want us to wait until blue light. Uh, posting blue light for covers for the Spotify release? It's taking so long, so just go for it at this point. Just go nuts. Murio Spacha. <laughs> Not scushy. <laughs> Wendy, thank you very much for that Akaspa. Mada watashite nakatta. Eh? Masure nai uchi ni haishin arigato dai da yo. Ippai tabete ne. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Evelyn, then, thank you very much as well for the Akaspa. What the heck is with the generosity today? Thank you for the amazing karaoke stream. I almost cried when you sang Nam. Thank you. Yeah, Nam is a really good song. And, you know, with Chester and no longer being with us, it, it adds a little bit uh, more to the emotional gut punch of the music of Linkin Park. Is it different if somebody wanted to cover Maze? Um, not entirely sure. I think it should be okay. I mean, I don't know if I can give out an instrumental for Maze. I'll have to ask for that. But if you just want to cover it, like, just in any way that you want, with, like, guitar, piano, sing over it, or whatever, I think that should be okay. You don't gotta ask me for it. With Blue Light, they've, I made that, so I just gave out the instrumental and said, Hey, I made this, I'd call the shots, go nuts. What, what the, the heck, heck is going, going on? on? Hello? Evelyn, thank you for the two more Akka Chads for no reason. Thank you. Why though? Why? Thank you. And another one for Pudding Lee. Thank you. Thank you so much for the Akka Spa. Long time no see, IQ. Been super busy these past few months. But I finally finished all the craziness yesterday. Thank you for the amazing karaoke. Thank you very much. And Otsu. Otsu on the craziness. What is with the Akka chats today? They're just like rolling up into into my into my chat and just being like No! No! What is going on with my GoXLR? Why is it not working?
Oh, are, are we back? Hello. <laughs> One second. Let me do something real quick. Let me... Let me do this. Uh, eat you guys off screen. Yeah! Like that for one second. No, not you tune. Tube. So, like, I don't know what happened. There was like, I think something must have gotten corrupted with my Go XLR for some reason. So, when, like, it was working fine for a while, but the moment I pressed any sort of button, it just died. For no apparent reason. But it should work now. Like, if I go quiet now again, we're, we're, we're calling the stream for today because the, I'm cursed. But please let my funny bass boost sound work now. Yay. That's what I wanted to do. I, want, I pressed that, and the moment I pressed that, everything broke. Everything broke. No matter what I did, it just did not want to work. So I just restarted my computer, and... Now it's working. Good old turning it off and back on again. So I'm really sorry about that. I did not expect a regular old free chat to be so full of scuff. I genuinely have no idea why it is the way that it is. But, oh well. Let's do that, do that, do that. Okay, now I think I can bring you guys back. Let me wee, do that. All right, winner I Thank you, Onima. <laughs> Thank you, Onima-san. Yeah, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, boy's back. I won over technology, and now nothing can stop me from pressing my funny buttons. <laughs> I don't think we need a GoXLR fundraiser, though. It, I just... I don't know. It said something was wrong with the firmware. I'm like, F you mean firmware? And so the, oh, another instance is running right now of the GoXLR app. Like, the F it ain't! No, it ain't. So yeah, just... When it was being stupid, I just decided to restart everything. Restart my whole computer. And now we're back, and it's working better. <laughs> Let's see, I can't believe that some people dropped super chats for that. Let's see you. Uh, Sushitaro, thank you very much for the Akaspa. Um, Saki Amane, thank you very much. Tanya Lee, thank you very much. And Onima, thank you all so much for the Akaspas for no reason. And Pudding Lee, thank you for the Akaspa just saying, muted? I don't know why everybody's being so generous. You guys rickrolled me while I was gone. What? Why? Maura dropped a rainbow? Oh my god, really? Well, thank you for the rainbow, Maura. It didn't- it didn't show up in my app thing. I'm so sorry, but thank you. Thank you so, so much. Please don't rickroll us back. I've already done that. <laughs> I've done that once already. If I- if it ever happens again, it's gonna be when you least expect it. What's happening to your eye? My eyes are entirely fine. Kei-Nito-Neki-san, thank you very much. Nito ni natte... もう、もう、もう、自称アプリ壊れてしまった。ちょっと待って。自称アプリ助けてください。Is it ]戻って? Yeah, ま、戻ってまい、参りました。えっと。ね、なんていうの? <笑> <えっと>。<笑> 
ニートえー、おかえりかもしれないまあ知らんけど<笑> See? 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 See how, see how useful it is? <laughs> See how useful it is? <laughs> See how it comes in handy whenever you're not entirely sure about something. Eyes got green screen? They shouldn't be. Oh, are they? Oh, they are, aren't they? What? But I'm not using that even. Hold on a second. That is so wild. Hold on, let me fix that. Check this out. Ooh, 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 that's wild. <laughs> whoa, look at that nightmare fuel. Uh, whoa. How do I get rid of that? <laughs> I'm deep fried. <laughs> deep fried Ike. That's so wild. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Uh, uh. Here we go. Oh. Is that better? I think that's better. No, there's it's still somewhat there. Hmm. How do I get rid of that though? Hmm. Settings. 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 Is that? No. You can still kind of see through it for some reason. Hmm. Maybe red. No, it's still... that's... It's still kind of weird. Yeah, no matter what I do, my, my eyes seem to be somewhat see-through. Nope, that, that just turns me into a nightmare. Hello! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm changing the chroma key and it's... For whatever reason, like, it's still green screening my eyes for some reason. Hmm. Is it because of your airplane struggles? Maybe. Perhaps. I'm, I'm not sure. No. That, that's so wild. Do you, do you see that? Hold on. What if, what if I change? What if I change something here? What if, what if what if I vanish real quick? Just one second. Oh, is that why? Maybe. Hold on a second. Did that fix it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was the problem. Oh, okay. I figured out what the problem was. I was being a dum dum. It's because it was inside OBS. There was a chroma key in OBS that was just like taking out a little bit of my eye for some reason. Look at that. The whole field in my eyes is just disappearing, just. <laughs> so that's what it was. Yeah, it should be a little bit better now. You really got lost in your eyes? Um, <laughs> I think my eyes got lost entirely. Forget getting lost in someone's eyes. I lost part of my eye. <laughs> the man has graphical errors even outside of After Effects. Seth? I can't say that on stream. <laughs> 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 say it? No, I'm not gonna say it. It's like the ba the banter with the boys stays stays with the boys. It 
Say it in Swedish? No, I'm not. It's, arguably, it's gonna sound even worse in Swedish. You know when you're with the boys? Like, you sometimes, like, it feels like you can say, like, whatever wild things come to your mind. But, like, if you would never say that, like, to anybody else. But, like, when you're just, like, so... You're, you're so, like, friendly and comfortable with one another when you can just, just say, like... Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Blink it in Morse code? Oh, yeah, because that's one thing that I know. Morse code. Go XLR, good boy funds. <laughs> I don't need a new Go XLR. I think I just needed to restart it. Or restart my computer. Thank you for the amazing karaoke. I'll be super busy finishing up my new fan book this month. But the memories of your beautiful singing will keep me going. Thank you very much and good luck with the fan book. Thank you for the Akaspa. The white dot in your eye is missing. Oh my god, you're right. What? Whoa, hello. Woo. Hold on, hold on. Uh! Hello. Whoa! <laughs> I came back like a ghost. Yeah, why why is it missing? I actually don't know. Can I Hmm How do I get rid of that? Oh there. I think that that works. That works. There. I have Un unghostified myself. Actually, what happens if I? What happens if I? Like, get away. Uh, get the background away. Uh, let's see. Let's let's change the effects to something. Uh, like VHS. That's a, that's a little bit scary, right? Uh, color filter. Let's see. Uh, sharpen? No. Let's turn off the flare. And then... What, you guys don't like this? What's wrong with this? <laughs> is, <laughs> is this not fun? What's the matter? You don't like the new look? Hmm? Personally, I was rather happy with it. Now, wouldn't you agree? Please agree. I'll be very sad if you don't. You don't want to see me sad. Do you? Okay, <laughs> enough of this. This is cringe. <laughs> okay, let's bring you guys back. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, let's turn off that. Bring the the background back. Where's the background? Uh, like so. Let's see, I think. How do I do this again? Do do I just? Does this work? Whoa! Hello. <laughs> Look at that background. Okay. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Got it finally. Don't do that again. Sorry. <laughs> never expected Zatsu to be this wild. I didn't expect it either. I never expected to run in be running into so much technical issues. <laughs> Michael Jackson, who? <laughs> Pudding Lee, thank you for another Akaspa. So funny. Thank you. 
And Lillian, thank you very much. Thank you for the amazing English karaoke. It's a brand new world, different from J-pop and Annie songs for me. And thank you so much. You are the uh, light, the <laughs> the one I desired. The one desire. <laughs> Otsuaki, thank you. Atarashi horage wo arigato. Tasukaru Haniwa san, thank you. <laughs> I took a screenshot. I will make a gif and send to my friends at 3 o'clock. That's evil, and I respect it. Okay, let me back up a little bit. I'm kind of close. New fear unlocked. コンビニの迎え入り道真っ暗な中で見たのは間違いでしたでも好きです助かりましたそうなのありがとうございますなん gonna lie I was cool actually even like that you're still pretty thanks <laughs> At that point, I feel like I can wake up with the most bad, like, you know, bad hair day, bad face day, everything. And you guys will still be like, you're still pretty, Ike. <laughs> like, it, when when is there come a come, uh, gonna come a day where you guys will just be like, ooh, you're, you're good, man? You look kind of rough today. Because I can't always just be like, no, you look perfect, you look flawless, man. <laughs> Never, okay, <laughs> you guys are sh such liars. But thank you, thank you for lying to me, to be nice. Mm. Kinyako-san, thank you very much. えー、遅くなりましたが、カラオケ配信をありがとうございました。えっと、え、パチパチ、拍手。あ、拍手パ、拍手パチャです。I see 拍手パチャ。That's so funny. 拍手、拍手、うん、拍手パチャ。拍手パチャ。Oh, and it's it's 8888 yen. I get it. Chio, thank you very much. Hi, Karaoke Otsu, it was amazing. I'll always remember your gorgeous voice. I finally started the first job in my life. It's exciting and nervous. Can you give me some encouragement? Hey, like um, a first job can be a, a frightening experience sometimes because you're not entirely sure what you're getting into, but it can also like lead to a lot of uh, cool new opportunities. You might need meet new friends and um, earning your first paycheck. Oh, that always feels good. And then when you spend it on something, you can be like, yeah. I earned that. That was my money. I worked for that. That's all mine. Nobody can take that away from me. So yeah. Wish you all the best. You're gonna do great. You haunt this place in the name of the Lord. I command you to go back to where you came from. May your soul return to the earth. May your body return to the dust. So we be the will of the Lord. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Man, what am I gonna do? Niji Ian's exorcist, <laughs> our resident British exorcist, is not going to be around anymore. Who's going to exorcise all the demons now? Wah. Ichi, <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat. I was so scared that I forgot to send this super chat. Karoka Haisin, chat to die, ticket to die. Thank you very much. <laughs> You must inherit the role. Take up the helm. It's okay. I'll I'll uh, I'll have him teach him. Ike Evelyn ate forever. Hi <laughs> Hex, how's it going? He I looked in chat. Somebody said Hextifer. Is there something I missed? Is there lore that I missed? Hextifer? What's that about?
uh, see, thank you very much. I'm in Japan's uh, school doing a project with uh, students from other countries, and I mispronounced Kochirakoso as Chokirakoso the other day. <laughs> it's spreading. It's spreading. Good. <laughs> I'm sure that they thought it was funny. Chokirakoso, <laughs> natsukashi. Proud of you, and uh, you've made history. Every day I wake up uh, to more art of you in Selen. I save every single piece in my special folder. Dude, I, I've loved all the Mimi art that's come out of uh, the Airplanes duet. I've seen the ones that is like drawn in MS Paint, and there was the one with me as Mordecai and Selen as Twilight Sparkle. And there's like just an explosion in the background. People really just took that and ran with it, and I couldn't be happier. Masterpiece. Truly, truly a masterpiece. Iso, thank you very much. Excuse me, I couldn't find a uh, place to pay the other day uh, for the karaoke concert, so it's not much, but I'll leave it here. <laughs> Dude, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Aiki ga kakuyokute, inochi ga tasukatte. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. And don't think I didn't notice that uh, Miku Miku Sufa. <laughs> Scientific question. Can we uh, wear your heels? I mean, if I'm not wearing them, sure, if you want to try them on. I don't know if we have the same foot size. How did you convince Selene to join you on that? I didn't. I just asked. I, when I asked her, while well, we were playing Apex, and when I asked her, I didn't even finish my sentence before she started laughing and said, Hell yeah. And that's it. That's how it happened. Selene is an OG. Selene is great. I was so happy that she said yes. I hope that I hope that she uh, is down to sing more with me in the future. I want to do like a proper cover with Selene. I think that would be so hype. How did you get the idea to sing it? I just saw a meme of uh, like uh, I saw I saw the meme of like Twilight Sparker and Mordecai. I was reminded of it. And I looked at the color scheme, like, blue, purple. Wait a minute. What if? What if? <laughs> More bookworm du duets. Yeah! I would be super happy if that happened. Zelen's voice so cute. Yeah, she has a great voice. And th she did great, and she even did the harmonies! She did the freaking harmonies, man. The Gap Moa in Selene's voice is so tasked. Yeah, the, the Gap Moa with Selene singing. When, whenever I see... Uh, whenever I see, like, uh, her raw vocals being showcased, like, for Virtual to Live and um, Oto no Naru Hoe by Pomo Senpai, I can always see the dragoons just being like, Yes! Yes! Pomu, give us the Gath Moa! We have been, we've been waiting for this! The dragoons are always so excited. Maybe there's some dragoons in chat that can confirm this for me. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of curious too. Like, uh, I know that uh, there's uh, like um, discords and whatnot that tend to do like watch alongs for certain streams. Uh, if anybody is from the Dragoon disc fan Discord, were any of you watching? Like, <laughs> what was the reaction when Selen showed up? I'm kind of curious. 
I'm very curious as to what happened. They must have been like, who is she? What is she doing here? They lost it. I love that. Good. I'm very happy. <laughs> Everyone's like, no way. <laughs> I checked, they thought it was funny. Good, good. That, that, that was our goal. Our goal was to be funny. Genuine question, are you bald? I mean, <laughs> are you... Uh, no? Like, my return question would be, and I don't mean this in a mean way, like... Uh, are, are you visually impaired? Because I, I'm right in front of you. Look at my head. Like, I'm the one with glasses here, right? I'm the one with bad eyes. Like, look at this hair. Look at the floof. It's, a, it's not a wig. It's not a wig. Other livers have ruffled it. It's not a wig. Bald Ike win him never. Maybe, maybe maybe for charity or something. That's a thing people do, right? Windows 11 is ready. No. Go away. I'll take the Ike Wazowski. That one I'll take. That one is funny. But bald, no. I have hair. See, Haruka san, thank you very much. Osoku narimashita, gomen. No, no, it's fine, don't worry. Karaoke no kansha dai desu. Otsukaru sama, thank you, but it's, it's not really not necessary, thank you. Krillin can't lie to you, we love uh, you and we see your perfection even when you're not. You'll be cute and beautiful person to us even if you don't see it. It's how platonic love goes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you guys are too nice. F Windows 11. Yeah, F Windows 11. I don't like it. Beruga-san, thank you very much for another uh, Akaspa. Soyeba Akaspa te ien demo Akaspa te yun desu ne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it, it's it's just easier because like we we are VTubers after all, which uh, and VTuber culture is largely origin like most of it originates from Japan. So it's just easier to say, like, uh, 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 Akaspa as opposed to, like, Red Super Chat. Like, could you imagine, instead of, instead of me saying, Akaspa, arigatou gozaimasu, I would say, like, Red Super Chat, arigatou gozaimasu, or something like that. It just, <laughs> it would just sound wrong. <laughs> Toby Fox moment. <laughs> Nanoto. What do you mean, Nanoto? <laughs> Project. Yeah, I was channeling a little bit of Toby Fox there, I guess. So, the Mochiron Zun san no Toho Project toka. I'll believe you if you let me ruffle your hair. Well, if you must. <laughs> I think that Shinkun was doing the same thing when she was playing Eve the other day. She was like uh, playing, uh, playing, and it was just like Japanese, like like Mary, <laughs> like <laughs> her pronunciation of like of Mary was like so native. It was it was so 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 natively English. I 
Thank you, Karaoke. Okay, the list is just chef kissed. You keep impressing us with the memes. <laughs> What's next, King? We are number one. Dude, if I could get the perms for that, I would absolutely do that. <laughs> Her Mary's VA was cute. Yeah, her, her VA is great. We talked a little bit about that after the stream. We talked about how acting and voice acting is fun and all. That's my favorite thing when uh, we uh, Asians speak in our tongue and then in English it's just insert American accent. Uh, we, we do something similar in Swedish because we insert a lot of English into our everyday speak for whatever reason. At least younger people do. Uh, so, but, but, but the way that we do it whenever we... Uh, at least when I'm speaking Swedish and I feel like uh, I need to say something in English, I just keep the Swedish accent going because just switching over to Eng uh, like a sort of North American-ish or whatever accent just feels weird. If I'm like in full Swedish accent mode. Even though I know how to have a not as obnoxious accent, it's just easier to just stay in one consistent accent than flipping back and forth. Can we hear an example? Uh, okay, what's an example? Uh... For example, if I'm guiding somebody through a program in Swedish and, and I want to tell them like... Uh, uh, and then you press edit preferences in the drop down menu. Uh, I would say something like, Och sen så trycker du ner på menyn där och sen trycker på edit preferences. It's a lot easier to just keep the accent than just go, uh, Du trycker på menyn där och sen du trycker du på edit preferences. <laughs> like, I don't want to put all the extra effort into getting those R's right. But that's the thing, like, I know that a lot of people that are fully capable of speaking English in a very, like, a consistent accent that sounds, you know, like, I don't know, vaguely North American-esque or, like, English or anything, any, anything like that. Uh, but whenever they're inserting English words when speaking their native language, they keep their accent. I know that Millie does that. When, uh, whenever Millie is speaking Tagalog, and, uh, like, you guys know that Millie is, like, perfectly capable of speaking, like, uh, fluent English. But whenever she's speaking Tagalog and throws in an English word, like, she keeps the accent. It just sounds funnier and I love it. Okay, you know what, that's fair. <laughs> it's hard to switch accent. Yeah, it is a little bit tricky. Changes accent takes extra brain fun function that I just don't have anymore. <laughs> what a fat mood, honestly. You just summoned the Filipinos. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Paul. You plan to do a Jump King stream again in the future? I don't know. I have been practicing a little bit to see if like, huh, can I take the record back? I don't know. We'll see. I've been trying to learn a couple of shortcuts to see if I can... If I can improve a little bit. But as of right now, the, the shortcut that I'm trying to get right is the, the one after Chimney. And that one is just really, really hard. If you mess it up, then you gotta restart. Under six minutes? Yeah, like, uh, I have to get under six minutes. Mata, I could no Jump King, Mitai. 
Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I say, I, I, I actually quote retweeted. <laughs> I, I, when I, when I left that uh, quote retweet, <laughs> where I just saluted. Uh, Dai Daikun's new time. Yeah, uh, I was just I, like I was just like being like respectful. Like, you you worked really hard. I salute you. I salute your efforts. But I think I scared him. I think <laughs> I think the Daikun got a little bit scared. He was just like, nice, ni ni nice to meet you. Like, stop, please stop, sir. <laughs> like, he was just <laughs> he got a little bit nervous. Poor guy was sweating. There's nothing to be scared about, but, like... I do want to give it a try. I do want to try and see if I can get the record back. Like, I would have to shave off, like, seven seconds. And I feel like there's room for improvement. I feel like I, I can probably pull that off. It's gonna take a while, though. It seems like a challenge accepted scenario. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided if I want to try yet. I've been practicing some shortcuts, and if I can learn how to do them, then maybe I'll give it a try. Stream it? We'll see. We'll see if I stream it. Because, like, the original six minutes and six seconds was a fluke. I didn't expect to get that. Thank you for the karaoke ticket fee, this. Thank you. Thank you, Namu. Four minutes, you can do it? Dude, no. Four minutes? Nah, that's impossible. What's the world record at? Uh, speed run. Jump King. There's no way. What is the the world record? Oh, wow. It is, it is four minutes. What? It's almost... It's almost under four minutes. What? Huh? I, go, I, I need to check this afterwards. Like, how? What the heck do they do? No, wait, actually, four minutes? Four minutes and one second, to be exact. What? Oh, the more you know. Muscle memory, I suppose. They gotta be doing some crazy shortcuts that I'm unaware of. Let's see. Matsuzaka Shio-san, thank you very much. Ike, today's my 19th birthday. Could you sing a shorthand birthday song for me? Love you, hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much. I don't think I can sing anything, unfortunately, but I can, of course, wish you a happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday and wonderful time. Get yourself some cake. Or some... or some presents. Treat yourself. Penny, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Karaoke is amazing. Thank you, Aiki. Thank you. Uh, let's see, what time is it? Oh, okay, uh, I, I actually gotta go because I'm expecting someone uh, that's gonna come over and help me uh, with some stuff because ya boy, uh, ya boy do be busy <laughs> and is gonna need a hand with some stuff. Main mainly to like carry things like because I need to move something heavy. I'm not gonna say exactly what that is, but like, uh, just... Be on, be on the lookout in the future. <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming today. It was nice having a little bit of a chat, especially after the karaoke because we didn't have an after party. And uh, oh yeah, I should let you all know. Uh, later today we are gonna be uh, our we I'm gonna be on uh, a part of a Mario Party collab. So we're gonna be uh, playing with. Uh, let's see, I, uh, I think it's on Rosamie's channel. Um. Uh, so I think it's gonna be me, uh, Futan, Rosemi, and who was the last one? Dopio. All oh, right, Dopio. Of course. 
That's the one. Is it a guitar? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up there. I'm sorry that today was so scuffed. I didn't mean for that to happen. Like, the, I don't know. Maybe I need to find a better place to put my GoXLR or something. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming today. It was so much fun talking to everybody, catching up and all that good jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later today in the Mario Party stream. And uh, yeah, for the rest of the week, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I might put out, put out a schedule, uh, but it, it's going to be relatively same old, same old. I'm thinking like tomorrow we might do like Outlast, uh, Friday, Persona, uh, Saturday, maybe... Um, Heavy rain, and then Sunday we can do Danganronpa. So like pretty, pretty standard, pretty standard. And th that's the plan for right now. Okay, with all that, I'm gonna be saying goodbye, and your boy is gonna go and uh, carry some things. Thank you all so much for coming, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye, bye bye.